morning guys. It's a really early morning and Laura thinks we're camping on an island for three days. We've got our hotel pickup here in the lobby. Going to surprise her. Hola. There there's a princess. I went to go for my brand new chapstick and for her dropped down the elevator shaft. It's very disappointing. You know what's not disappointing? What? Going to a resort for five days? Four days? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, we're going to this really nice like hotel, beach hotel in the San Blas Islands. Are you <laughs> so you can leave the toilet paper here if you want, but or you can bring it. Laura's like hoarding all the supplies, like shampoos and yeah, we're going to a, a nice yeah, hotel. Why would you do this? We're going to San Blas. <laughs> I'm so relieved. We're going to a really awesome hotel right now on like one of the most secluded islands in the entire world, one of the most remote areas in the entire world. And uh, it's so remote we actually have to pay the local people who own the land to get into that area. So right now it is like, what time is it? 6.42. We were in this car by five. Been going for a bit less than two hours. Right now we're going through this like really windy but beautiful road that goes through the mountains. They're more like hills, they're not really mountains. <laughs> I have no idea what time we get to this place. Our driver doesn't speak any English. So we have no idea if it's two hours from here or if it's a day from here. People of this area, of this geography, <laughs> of this. <laughs> What's your pocket? I'm just excited to see you. Ew, for sure. We're actually going through the locals' land. They don't really associate themselves with Panama as a country, but they're the original ones who lived here, and so you'll see them, hopefully, I'll, I'll get some on film, but they wear, like, very unique local garments. In order to get on their land, you have to pay them a certain little bit of money. Blake's about to get eaten by this uh, German shepherd over here. Blake's got his passport. There's a little passport <laughs> checkpoint here. That was like way less intense than I thought it would be. Yeah, it took us about three hours to get here. We had like a really nice vehicle. We're in Porto Dibin, so we had to pay a 20 entrance fee each. We had to pay a two each for the port fee. We paid 75 for the driver. Altogether, it's come to about 150 bucks roughly. And we might have a few more fees because I was told in total it's gonna be close to 300 to get to the island for the three of us. So it's not cheap, but I think the islands will make it all worth it. I'm so excited right now. I'm excited that we're not camping. <laughs> Our boat is being outfitted so that we can go to the island. It's pretty windy right now, so I think it's gonna be really wavy out there. Ah, oh, gracias. That one doesn't want to go in the water. Who's ready? Alright guys, so we're about 15-20 minutes out. Uh, we've stopped in the middle of the ocean. My guess is uh, we probably ran out of fuel. And this is our lives now. Time to paddle back. Push me off the edge of love. This is like a bit of a ride to get here. Um, we've been on the boat for about an hour and a little bit. We're finally almost here. It took us like an hour and a half through really, really rocky waters. It's been quite windy and so it's not exactly smooth sailing when you're not between land and island. We can't even stop now, cause it's bad boy for life. All right guys, so we just got dropped off. With the language barrier, we don't exactly know where we're going no, just no, yet. No. But there's a very friendly gentleman who's helping us, so I'm sure we'll have that figured out very soon here. Almost no one ever comes the way we're coming, but Air Panama was totally booked, so there was no flights going into this area. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I wouldn't tell someone not to do this, but if the flights were available, definitely take the flight. Gracias, gracias, we're getting a little boat transfer, so we're not staying here. We're off on the road again.
like jaw drops right now. The very, very long, somewhat difficult travel day is all worth it. Check this place out. This is hands down the most escape place I have ever been in my entire life. I think that's a solar panel right there heating up some water or something. I honestly have no idea. But look at this. This is our freaking room. So we are unit 10. Right next to our unit is the dining area. Oh my gosh, Blake, how sick is this? Literally having pancakes in heaven. See you later. All right, after breakfast, it's time to take a bit of a lounge. If it isn't Sleeping Beauty. Stop, I do more than sleep, I swear. I'm just so tired. <laughs> I didn't sleep the night no, before. No, I know, you just came from LA. We just had a guy by the name of Dolmi come up and he was explaining to us how the tours work. So there's two tours every day. There's one today, 2 p.m. They're going to the river just over there. Tomorrow, we're going to the beach at 9.30 a.m. Dolmi was telling us that the way you know the tour is about to start is that he grabs the big blue conch and he blows in it like in SpongeBob, the magic conch. This! Ooh, the magic conch shell! Ooh. And everyone will come running, and well maybe not running, but everyone walks over here and then we head out on a day trip. We had our appy, and now we've got some fish and some potatoes with some dressings. How is this place real life? So the sun sets right behind our hut here. They've given us permission to go up on top of the water tower. We're trying to find the best time-lapse location for tonight. All right, <laughs> just don't let go and it should be good. Probably like, what, 30 feet up? We are on top of the water tower and you can't drink the water on the island like directly from the taps. They have tons of drinking water so you can just go to like the kitchen and get some. This is the coolest thing about the job, getting to experience moments like this, meeting awesome people around the world and uh, hanging out with some amazing friends. <laughs> the conch has been blown! Oh, oh, hell, the the magic magic conch. Conch. First sunset here at Yandup, an absolute success. Very, very beautiful. It's unfortunate the mountains cut it off from us a bit early, but otherwise, just a beautiful night. And Blake is currently retrieving the time lapse before Blake falls 30 feet with my camera gear. And of course, Blake's safety being the number one priority. I'm gonna go get my stuff, make sure he's doing all right. Where should I sit? You want to Okay. Ooh. You want to uh, water would be good. Thank you very much. So we just had a sample here of what the time lapse is gonna look like. I've never in my life been able to do a night lapse, but now that I have a 5D and a time lapse little remote controller, I can basically tell the camera how long to capture light before starting the next photo. And Blake was telling me that in order to get one second of usable footage, you need seven photos. No, was it seven? So it takes 12 frames, in other words, 12 photos to get one second of video where you get that movement. And so uh, each of these photos takes 20 seconds. It's gonna take 40 minutes for us to get like a nice 10 second time lapse from the sky here. So we're gonna leave it running. That's our place right there. We're gonna go inside, relax, come back in 40 minutes. And I don't think anyone's gonna steal our camera here on the island. Just uploaded the clips from today. Laura is sleeping. There's Sleeping Beauty. And Blake is currently working on another night lapse. We've run like five time lapses today. This is the most time lapses I've ever had in a vlog, but I hope you guys like them. They definitely take a lot of extra time um, and effort, but uh, we have all the time in the world, so that's why we're able to pull that off. Expect much, much more cinematics in the coming vlogs, guys. I was supposed to upload a video tomorrow at 12 p.m., but I already know for a fact there's no way that's happening. In fact, I might be MIA for maybe like five days, which I hate, but at the same time, look where I am, you know? I can't be that mad about it. So, five days off, five days to just like pump out incredible cinematics, put the vlogs together so that when I come back to the mainland, I can upload them and show you guys what we've been up to because it's truly so incredible. I can't believe I get to share this with you guys. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. 
hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and maybe share it with your friends and family. Maybe show them what they could be doing here in Panama. Most people don't realize that Panama is such an incredible travel location. I didn't realize it until this past week. So I encourage you guys to go out there, adventure to new places because you never know where it will take you. I'm just so glad that Panama has become on my radar and I definitely know that I'll be back. Let's get lost again tomorrow. Fun of the day.